Imagine a virus that doesn't just hijack your body, but your thoughts. It decides what you think, how you feel, and even who you trust. This isn't science fiction. Scientists are already warning us, a real brain infecting pathogen could evolve, and we might call it Neurovirus X. What is Neurovirus X? Neurovirus X is a theoretical next gen neurotropic virus, designed in labs for simulation, but rooted in real biology. Like rabies, herpes, or Zika, this virus crosses into your brain. But what sets X apart is what it does once it gets there. Scientists imagine it hijacking neural circuits, altering emotions, and disrupting your prefrontal cortex, your seat of rational thought. The result? You may not know you're infected, because it's thinking for you. How could IT work? Let's break it down. Neurovirus X would use biochemical mimicry, rewiring dopamine and serotonin production to manipulate behavior. Imagine it causing sudden trust in fake authority, obsession with specific ideas or people personality shifts within days essentially, it could turn victims into biological puppets. Not violent, not aggressive, just rewritten. Could this actually happen? As terrifying as it sounds, versions of this already exist. Toxoplasma gandii changes mouse behavior. Lyme disease causes brain fog and mood swings. Even COVID-19 caused neurological symptoms in millions. Now combine those effects with AI modeling and synthetic biology, and you can see how a mind-influencing virus isn't impossible. It's just a matter of when. Signs and symptoms. Warning signs of neurovirus X might include. Drastic belief shifts, loss of empathy, emotional numbness, hallucinations of guidance or commands, and the creepiest part? Victims would feel fine. They'd just believe their new thoughts are their own. Can IT be stopped? To stop a virus like Neurovirus X, we'd need brain targeted antivirals, real time neuroimaging detection, digital neural firewalls for implant users. This isn't just medicine anymore, it's neurocyber defense. Virus X doesn't attack the body, it rewrites the soul. And in a world of rising bioengineering, AI, and pandemics, it could be the first true virus of consciousness. So the question is, when you think, who's really doing the thinking?